everyone. My name is Lauren Severe and welcome to my channel. Um, I have one question to ask. Am I the only one not participating in Camp Nano this month? Me? The only one? Are there anyone, any other writers out there on YouTube not participating in Camp Nano? Because I'm not. Uh, so today is going to be me answering the question why I'm not and doing a very much awaited competition overview. So if you've been watching any of my past videos, uh, I've mentioned more than once um, that I am going to be participating in a pretty exciting writing competition where I'm bringing my young adult fantasy novel, Songs of Autumn, um, up to Vermont to pitch to publishers to hopefully be published here soon. Yeah. So I'm going to be talking about that in this video. Pretty exciting stuff, right? Okay. So, first things first, why am I not participating in Camp NaNoWriMo? And Lauren, what the heck is going on with your upload schedule? Because you've missed a few. Well, to answer your question, last Friday was my birthday. And on my birthday, my husband and I got some not great news. Um, he is probably going to be having hip surgery here soon. Um, so my family's been having to deal with that. He is off of work and on crutches and will be getting better soon, but it has put a little kink in my uploading schedule as well as I bulk filmed a ton of videos because I knew I was going uh, to the first leg of my writing competition up to Vermont later this month and I wanted to have my upload schedule done for like weeks in advance only to find out after I had filmed weeks worth <laughs> of videos for you guys that my mic decided to stop working after the first one. So anyway, I'm playing catch up. Please be gracious. I hope you'll be gracious. Um, anyway, so that is a couple of the things that have been going on with us and with my family. And also I will not be participating in Camp NaNoWriMo because on the 20 third of this month, I will be flying into Boston, getting a rental car, and driving up to Rochester, Vermont, so that I can participate in the first of two trips to Vermont, where um, I'm going to be participating in the Win Words Count Pitch Week event. Um, so let me give you a little bit of, uh, ugh, ooh, I hate this tongue tie thing that I do all the time. Um, a little bit of information, I'm actually going to read it like off of their website on my phone. Um, about the pitch week competition just because I haven't really gone into an overview of the competition at all and I want to give you all a really good idea of what I've been doing all this time and stuff yeah so when words count retreat is a writer's retreat that's open year-round in Rochester Vermont it's out in the countryside of Vermont so Super beautiful out there. And you can go for a weekend or a week if you just want to like book a room at this 1800s farmhouse that they've, they've renovated as sort of like a hotel, but for writers um, to come and write. And they have um, people who actually work there on staff who work in the publishing industry and who publish books and do all this stuff. And so you kind of get to talk to them like after dinner because all the Meals are included whenever you purchase the writing retreats and stuff and they have nano events if you want to pay to go out there and do nano out there and stuff like that. So it is a business um, most of the time and they have an event and they have it a couple of times a year called a pitch week event. And they, they do accept rolling submissions throughout the year which I talked about a little bit in a previous video. It'll be up in the cards somewhere during this video. Um, Anyway, but so I talked about it a little bit before where I was sort of in between my first draft and my first round of edits and I was really nervous about my first round of edits and had no motivation. So it seemed like the kind of place where if I submitted to Pitch Week, they would give me feedback when they rejected me. And that's why I submitted not thinking that I would actually get accepted. And I did. So yay. And then the stress just just wash over me like a warm bath for the next few months. Um, anyway, so let me just read to you a little bit from their actual website 
to kind of talk about what Pitch Week is, and then I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my experience so far and the structure of it so far. I will have some subsequent videos and I will vlog both of my trips to Vermont. Um, so look out for that if this is something you think you may be interested in. At the end of the competition, win, lose, or draw, I will be talking about whether or not I think it was worth it, all of the costs that are associated, because yes, there are costs. There are costs to travel, there are costs, you know, to just to be involved. There are different parts of the competition, and if you want to put your best foot forward, sometimes you want to hire, you know, um, some outside help, things like that. And so I will break it down for you um, in some subsequent videos a little bit later. Anyway. Stop procrastinating, Lauren, and read off the dang website. Um, anyway, so it says here, Pitch Week, our juried competition for authors of promise. Dear aspiring author, now, oh, well, this is sort of the silly part. I'm just going to get to, like, the explanation about what Pitch Week is. Pitch Week is a juried competition for authors of promise. The winner receives the literary trifecta, a prize valued at $150,000. That does not mean that they write you a check for $150,000 for those of you watching. It means that the services provided in the literary trifecta have been valued or estimated at $150,000, okay? That includes a traditional book publishing deal, the services of a literary agent, and a national marketing campaign. Win, lose, or draw, the experience of collaboration will make you a better author and your book a better read. I have found in my experience to date that this competition, the pressure they put on you, the deadlines they force you to keep, the help that they provide you, um, everything that I've gone through thus far has made Songs of Autumn and me, by default, a much better writer and a much better book. Like this book would, pr I, to be at this level, it would take me a few years. Like. The young adult dystopia novel that I wrote with my friend, I went back and like read a few passages of that book, um, I want to say like a month or so ago, and seeing how far I've come in just a short amount of time through this competition um, has really sort of astounded me. So I will say that there is a lot of intrinsic value in sort of putting somebody in a pressure cooker situation and forcing them to get better. Um, it definitely has helped this book. Anyway, our book coaches will guide you every step of the way. Yes, a book coach. Exactly what you need to solve the confusing maze of the publishing world. All finalists emerge with stronger manuscripts, compelling bios, snappy cover copy, better book cover designs, strategies for marketing the book, and confidence to pitch before audiences. By the time you're done, you'll have the credibility and presence you've hoped for vying for the dominant position and strategizing on a first name basis with a literary, literary agent, traditional publisher, and national publicist. Pitch Week is a national contest, USA, Canada, and beyond for talented but yet to be fully recognized authors. While you can be a published author at the point of your submission, your own book sales to date have not exceeded 5,000 books sold. However, we encourage authors who have published short stories or the like in magazines, whatever the circulation, or have been in a support role as one of the writers in anthologies or the like, um, whatever the sales level, in any case, you must assure us that you are not in the main draw. It's time to take action and throw your hat in the ring. Join the Win Words Count trial and at Win Words Count Retreat. Um, and then they have a ton on the site. They have a ton of the different like bios and the different winners. I've read blogs by some past winners who said that their lives have been changed by this. I've looked up some books um, from people who have been published from the competition. And before all of you naysayers say, it's a scam, Lauren, nothing's that good. They're actually very transparent about everything up front. Any associated costs. In fact, most of them have been self-imposed by yours truly. Um, things of that nature. So, as far as all of that goes, um, I have really gotten a lot out of the experience thus far. Um, so what, what, how did this all happen? So I sent in my submission, I sort of told the story a little bit already. 
I sent in my submission packet, which was um, the first 10 pages of my first draft of Songs of Autumn, um, which I did like a perfunctory sweep of just to sort of clean up the first 10 pages. And I wrote a really simple author bio, which was awful. Um, and I cropped a photo of myself. Um, I cropped two, my two sisters out of a photo of myself because my hair looked good in it. And... Um, sent that off with a synopsis of a book that was not even fully realized or even really totally written because there were chapters that were missing. I just skipped them because it's a first draft and sometimes you just have to skip chapters to keep going. Um, anyway, so I sent all of that off into the, the interwebs and Steve Eisner, the director of the program, actually set up a phone call and talked to me for a really long time about my book and why he saw potential in it and who I was as an author because he wanted to see if I was a one trick pony or if I was somebody who was gonna have a body of work. And what he explained to me, um, which is really cool, he, he's one of the director of the program, he sort of founded the Win Words Count retreat, um, he and his wife, and he explained a little bit, of, a bit about their history and how they got into this and everything and um, that really the goal was to help um, newer or aspiring authors who have a lot of potential to actually like get help getting out of the query trenches. This is sort of their response to the query trenches where these really great books, you hear it all the time how Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone was like rejected 13 times and all this other stuff before somebody finally saw a nugget of gold in it. Well, this is him basically saying, hey, we want to help you because we see the nugget of gold and we want to get you to the people who can help you, you know, make more of it. Anyway, um, so that's sort of been the premise through the whole thing. He's been really influential. He has actually uh, helped me a lot. He's given me like first impressions editor feedback for when I was um, hunkered down in the editing trenches part. Um, there's a, a like a lot of stuff that goes into the competition and um, the structure of it is I'm actually gonna travel I'm gonna take two week-long trips to Vermont the first of which is in just a couple of weeks super nervous and excited anyway so the first one uh, the first trip is called meet the judges and what we're gonna be doing at meet the judges is meeting the judges the other competitors we're going to be um, taking all of our competition materials which is Mainly, the finished manuscript um, is the big thing. It's worth the most points in the competition, but there's other things as well. I've been working with a cover designer and come up with an amazing cover, which I really want to share with you guys and hope to be able to do soon, but I don't think I'm going to do that until after the competition in September, so sorry to tease you, but it's great. Um, anyway, so I've been working on uh, cover design with a cover design firm. Um, which I'm going to be bringing uh, into the competition. Um, a marketing strategy PowerPoint, which sort of lays out um, who I, uh, how I'm going to be able to help market the book, um, the marketable points of the book, things of that nature to really sort of show the publishers whenever they're there in September um, how Songs of the Autumn will make them money so that, and how I will make them money and my author brand will make them money so that hopefully they pick your girl here. Um, anyway, also we're going to be doing an author Q&A. Uh, I'm going to be revamping my bio and my headshot because, you know, I might want to be a little bit more professional than what I had last time. And uh, updating a synopsis with obviously like the new information from the book. The old synopsis um, didn't account for changes during the editing process, so that is getting revamped as well. Um, and I'm going to be giving an elevator pitch, which is super nerve wracking. I think I've written like 27 different elevator pitches and none of them seem very good. I don't think I'm good at the shortening of things, if you can tell by this video. So like taking my 60,000 word manuscript and like boiling it down to 30 second pitch and making it real good has been incredibly difficult for me. I asked for a ton of help on uh, the Facebook group and I have been like studying different things. Uh, people mentioned like Save the Cat and different, like just a ton of different articles and stuff and I have been going through all of that and 
Yeah, so I'm struggling with the elevator pitch part. But anyway, all of this comes down to um, after Meet the Judges, whenever we go up there, we meet all the judges and the competitors, and we work with editors and publicists and marketing professionals and people in the industry to really get our presentation and all these different things that I just mentioned we're going to be bringing, really honing in on them, getting them the best they can be um, so that when I come back for the second week-long trip in September um, is when I'm going to actually be pitching it to publishers and agents. <laughs> for publication. Um, typically, what Steve said is the rate of success, I guess, that they've had in the past at Pitch Weeks is that typically about 56% of the authors that go to Pitch Week end up leaving with a publishing contract. And the ones who don't normally end up with representation or a solid place to like find representation from because you have your marketing strategy, you have your brand um, pretty fleshed out, you have everything that you need to really be attractive to publishers and agents from there. Um, so yeah, that's the basics of the competition. In exactly three weeks, I will be traveling to Vermont. Uh, my husband has a broken hip. I'm still working full time in the middle of all this and struggling to write an elevator pitch, and that is why I'm not doing Camp NaNoWriMo this year, this month. Anyway, um, it's really cool that y'all watched this really long rambly video. I'm sorry that it was so long and rambly. I've been meaning to do like a competition overview and stuff for a while, so I felt like I had a lot to say. Again, I apologize, but thanks for sticking around. It would be really cool if you joined the family like and subscribe below so that you can get more competition updates, vlogs, all kinds of cool stuff. I don't know why I'm dancing right now, but I'm feeling it. Anyway, um, y'all have a great night. Happy writing. And if you are participating in Camp NaNoWriMo, good luck, you guys. Bye.